some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Newport News, Virginia, where we encounter one half of the frauditing team, GBTY team, as the patriarch of that particular team is now in jail for only two days after six years of prosecution. And, well, it just ended up with 365 days of a sentence and 361 of them suspended and one year of probation and he only has to serve half of the four days that he had left so two days in jail for a disorderly conduct charge yeah even i think that this is a bit overboard as far as six years of prosecution that should have been taken care of years ago but one year of probation yeah i don't think he's gonna make it that long so without further ado let's go ahead and get this freaking s show on the road and watch this uh very angry frauditor make a complete fool out of herself So I came out of court and said no justice, no peace, the police, and now he's talking about how I have mental problems. Well, it's been my experience that the general population of frauditors tend to have mental issues. They have a superiority complexes, they are quite narcissistic, they really hate everybody and everything around them, therefore they want to cause misery for everybody that they encounter. So are you any different than uh, the rest of the frauditors that try to do the same thing? No, I don't think so. Are you okay, ma I'm perfectly fine, I told you that way over there while you were following me back to my vehicle. I'm just make sure you're okay. I'm per I am a-okay. Wonderful. You threatened that I had a mental problem because I said, No justice! No peace! The police! You seriously need to learn the difference between threatening and asking a question. The officer asked you if you had a mental problem. They didn't threaten you with a mental problem. If you're going to speak English, you might as well learn how to pronounce things properly and use the proper context in your uh, verbiage. But of course, the same can be said for any freaking language as well. And everything's okay? Perfect! Alright. Sounds good. Cops killed Christ. They sent a legion for him. 600 men. The best. Better than your SWAT team. Law enforcement killed Christ. Because they were just doing their job for the state, Romans. Oh, you are such a damn Looney Tune. It was Roman soldiers that captured Christ and took him to the courts. They didn't pass judgment on him. They didn't sentence him. The courts did that. So get your facts straight before you uh, spew them out of your mouth. And then you're going to threaten me saying I got a mental problem. Everything okay. We have a standing army in our country. Nothing's okay. Yeah, walk away. Walk of shame. It's gonna try to incite something when there's nothing to incite. So I probably should ask for the badge number and name. I'm sure I can do that. Over there, there's a whole bunch of constitutional people. They're supposed to protect the Constitution. They're supposed to defend our rights. Look at them. Look at them all standing in a park lot. They don't know the first, the third, the fourth, the fifth. They don't know any of it. The only thing they know is the Second Amendment. Well, you frauditors don't even know the Tenth Amendment, and I'm sure you couldn't even... uh figure out what the seven articles of the Constitution are either, because you know the Constitution has more than just the 27 amendments in it. You gotta read the whole damn thing to understand it, and uh, most frauditors haven't even bothered to read the past the Fifth Amendment. I guess it's because they don't have the education level to count beyond five. Yeah, get the f*** out of here, you stupid-ass pigs. Oh, is everything all right? Oh, you thought that when Chris was done, that it was going to be all over with. 
Yeah, your husband may be in jail for the next couple of days, but I really doubt that it's going to be over with anyway, with the two of you still out on the streets. But your husband does have a year of probation, so he might want to be careful and not get himself arrested again, because that could really screw up his life, and he could end up back in jail for about a year, serving out the rest of his time. So the both of you might want to watch out for that, because that could come back and bite you in the ass. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?